there is no struggle without a reason. Like the Niger Delta Avengeance NDA today have reasons why they are blowing up oil and gas facilities belonging to Nigerian states. That's not to say that we are in support of their actions. We believe that nation building is no one man's tax, but a collective effort. I wish to also appeal to my Niger Delta brothers that crippling Nigeria's economy is not the solution to our challenges. It is cheaper to make peace as war leads to more destruction. Fellow compatriots of the Niger Delta Avengers, please shed your swords and give peace a chance. I think you have made your point. Hence, you should give government chance to respond. Enough of the bombings, please. Nigeria need peace now more than ever. The government of the day need peace to implement its promises. I call on the sponsors of the Niger Delta Avengers to have a rethink of their actions. I also appeal to the Nigerian security agencies to please treat softly as two wrongs cannot make right. Les adopts the approach of the American ambassador to Nigeria, who employed us to use dialogue as war alone cannot solve a problem. I also appeal to all Niger Delta ex-militant leaders to support the federal government to change Nigeria. Similarly, I wish to also appeal to the federal government and all those in position of authority to be mindful of their words, as it can infuriate anger and set one against the other. We recently heard comments from the federal government such as, we will crush them, and there will be no more fresh amnesty, or in other words, no medals for criminals. We are not saying criminals should be celebrated, but we should take cognizance of the fact that Niger Delta challenges are unique, therefore should be treated.